So Saudi Arabia has revealed how engineers at Neom are planning to construct the line. 40 skyscraper cores will be rising from the 2.4 kilometer long foundations of phase one, and they'll stand 500 meters high. That's like One World Trade Center being built 40 times over up the length of Manhattan Island. Right now, there are only 11 other completed buildings on the planet rising to 500 meters. The cores will then be linked together by 2 million tons of structural steel trusses clad in 2.1 million square meters of mirrored glass. Nearly all the steel elements are being formed in a factory-like environment at ground level before being lifted up into place. They'll form the main boulevards or primary decks that run horizontally across the line's framework, carrying transit systems and forming platforms for other buildings to be constructed off. Then there's a 350 meter tall cruise ship gateway and a 46,000 seat FIFA stadium in the sky directly above it. 11,000 tons of structural elements, including much of the stadium structure, are being assembled on the ground in four pieces, then lifted 500 meters up to the top of the line. The void below them is then gonna become that ship portal with a huge alien-like green glass sculpture hanging over it like a chandelier. Finally, a giant plug will be removed on the nearby coast, allowing water to flow in from the Red Sea, down a new channel and into the huge basin that surrounds this part of the line, forming its marina. Now this is phase one of the line. They're building it in sections. Each section is around 800 meters long by that 500 meter height and around 200 meter width. Uh, they're building three in phase one, which takes it to 2.4 kilometers. The idea is then once phase one is constructed, they'll be extending it out to the full length of the line, which is estimated to be around 170 kilometers, eventually becoming home to an incredible 9 million people.